From coffee houses and restaurants to parks and recreation, we're sharing why Whitewater is worthy of your spring visit list. We're joined now by Dave Carlson, Economic Development Director for the City of Whitewater, and Kristen Mickelson, Public Relations and Communications Manager. So glad to have you. Thank you very much Good for having here. us. What a yeah. nice spring day, a great time to talk about some great things to do in Whitewater. And I'm sure most of our viewers are familiar with Whitewater, but let's talk about what makes it so unique. Well, a lot of people probably know Whitewater for the University of Wisconsin Whitewater, and that's something we're absolutely proud of. Probably a lot of kids, you know, heading off to college there this fall from the Madison, you know, southern Wisconsin area. But it's more than just a college town. It is a historic community with beautiful architecture, uh, a very eclectic life outside of the university. The university certainly brings a lot of amenities to what otherwise would be a small town that, that wouldn't have those amenities. So that's great, but we have natural beauty uh, with lots of trees, we have uh, the lakes, trails, there's just so many things. And, and really at the focal point of Whitewater is our downtown. Beautiful, old, historic you know buildings dating back to the to the 1800s, early 1900s, and there's just something for everybody there. Um, close enough, but just far enough away from all the hustle and bustle. Don't you feel like you're there? We've provided <laughs> you with this great scenery. It's so It is very, very beautiful, and there is a lot to do. So let's talk a little bit about some of the things that families can do, or you know, whoever wants to come visit this spring, what, what's out there? Yeah, well, the great thing about it is, as, as David mentioned, yes, it is a college town, but it really is something for the entire family, whether you're a millennial or a new family, young professional, or even uh, maybe in your senior years. It, this is the perfect place because there's things with history, like David mentioned, uh, we have so many beautiful local landmarks, whether it be the houses that have stories beyond stories that you can look up and find out about, even do tours of from time to time. But then there's even things like uh, we have our Burge Fountain, which was donated to us um, in 1903 by the first young uh, person born in uh, white water from European settlers and it's one of the it's the treasures of the town it's something that you go by you get excited to see and um, it's just one of the many things that, along with the effigy mounds which you can go and visit the trails we have the Ice Age trail which we just were was introduced to our area um, and the parks and we were just putting in a new um, playground for the kids Trayton's Field of Dreams I mean I could go on forever yeah and, I keep mean, going we could it. It, it's just uh, the history that's there is something that's really special I think People come in and some some people kind of breeze through because they're going to the college or what or maybe passing through. But if people would just take a day and and just enjoy what's around them, whether it be outside, but then we have some great things like our city markets. Every Tuesday night, we have a city market, whether it be inside or um, outside, outside during the summer times, beautiful. People bring in their uh, wonderful vegetables and jams and jellies and breads. And oh my gosh, it's so much fun just to even just go through and smell. You know, it's a fun time. And then we have our aquatic center. Most cities don't have an aquatic and fitness center. We do. You can go inside and play in the water, have mermaid classes and swim slide. lessons. Yeah, I mean, again, <coughs> we, we could go on and it's just all in this little town it's little gems that you find that you don't want to miss yeah. less than an hour from Madison good um, to mention less you know for half hour 45 minutes from Janesville and Beloit Milton Edgerton yeah. even closer so we really are encouraging people you know this spring get out you know it's like it was a long winter it was cold it was snowy yes. um, even if you just have like Kristen said a Tuesday evening to come down and visit the market of course what we'd love is if you have more time yes you know come down on a Saturday stay overnight visit the uh, the Kettle Moraine State Forest. There's lots of hiking and biking trails there. We really are the gateway to the Kettle Moraine. And if people have not been out there to, to experience that, it, it's great in all seasons. But I think, you know, especially spring, summer, get out there with the mountain bikes or, or just get out there with the hiking shoes on. And when you get tired at night, you've got a place to stay. You've got some great restaurants. Black Sheep, Casual Joe's, Fanatico's, Jessica's Family Restaurant. <laughs> These are some of the staples of our downtown area. Well worth a visit. I love your passion, both of you. <laughs> Haven't you fallen in love with Whitewater yeah. already? But I love the point that you make because there is so much 
much to do. And so mm -hmm. often we forget to really experience the place right. that we live or just are down the street from it, less than an hour away if you're in Madison. So a great opportunity yeah. to kind of take a little bit of a staycation right here in Wisconsin. Yeah, right. go somewhere where you, you, know, you can kind of stop in, stay for a little while, be kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but yet close enough to everything and be able to go through those hiking, you know, do a picnic with your family and stuff, but then still catch a show at the Young Auditorium, you know, one of the largest auditoriums right on campus that everybody can enjoy. Yes. It's interesting what you can, you know, make work all within a day. You'd be amazed, you know, speaking in the Young Auditorium, <coughs> several times a year they get in Broadway shows, touring Broadway shows that are touring the country, and they'll stop in Whitewater in between some of the bigger, you know, venues that they play, and those shows are available, and I, I, I will tell you this, the costs of seeing that show in Whitewater, not even counting travel and everything else, are way lower. The ticket prices are often 25, 30% lower wow. than you would pay for that same show if it was in Madison or if it was in Chicago or Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. So much to do in Whitewater. Well, I can't wait to visit. I hope you can join me. It'll be lots of fun in Whitewater. We're going to have to talk to you next time about uh, possibly for folks who are looking for a new home. There's mm -hmm. lots of great reasons to live there, too. But we're going to have you back. This is Dave and Kristen. We're Talk Wisconsin. We'll be back after the break. Mm -hmm.